Okay, folks, Dr. Freedom here with you. Time from Dr. News. News from in and around the universe that can only make the TARDIS go wheezy, bang, a wheezy, bang, a wheezy, bang, a hoo-ha. Okay, now, or hot diggity dog. Oh, well, ah, got some weird filming pics out of Cardiff uh, Barrage today. Well, actually, this is, uh, sorry, Cardiff Bay Barrage. And the thing is, they built this set that's actually kind of like sitting right there on the water. And the problem is they've oriented it and built it in such a way that it's damn near impossible to actually get photos. I wonder why. Um, okay, but hey, before we get to that, one side note. If you're going to come on, all right, I have a personal Facebook page. And like I said, I've not made it a mystery as to what my actual name is. But don't go on there shouting Dr. Freedom this, Dr. Freedom that on my personal Facebook page or your comment's going to get deleted. I'm sorry, but if my personal views differ from yours, don't try putting me through an inquisition on, on, in the public under uh, you know, a name I use on YouTube because it's not going to work. Not to mention the fact that I still can't believe the hypocrisy of some of the shit that's going around on Facebook these days, given the events that have gone on over the past you know, couple days since you know, the inauguration. As I keep telling people, I did not vote for Trump. I did not do it. I didn't vote for Clinton either. I voted for Gary Johnson because, frankly, neither one of them jackasses is qualified to run the country. <sighs> well, Gary Johnson didn't know what Aleppo was, so I didn't know what the frick Aleppo was either. And more frankly, we got more problems in this country than you can shake a stick at. But that's the end of the political moment. Let's get back on to the stuff. Okay, if you run on over to DWSR, and forgive me, you're going to probably end up blocking as many people as I had to get to the good stuff. Um, this fella here or Chris Capilio at Celtic Outlook, he put up a Periscope video. Oh, hey, let me back it up because the damn thing started playing. Oh, some of the, like, let's pause this. This right here was a tent they set up for, like, I think costume changes or something along that line. And those were mainly the cast and crew were, you know, hanging out at before filming. So I guess maybe it's kind of like a little hideaway tent. Sure. Oh, there we go. You zoom right up on it. So if you want to watch all this, it's only about a minute 40. But he gets as much as he can because the problem is when you look at where he's shooting from, he is like all the way over here. Hang on. Uh, I, I saved the pictures. Give me a moment here. Now, yeah, I'm too, 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 too. You see, I hate it. You see, I don't edit because editing to me makes the art of video false. And I sure as hell don't put on makeup. All right. That's another thing I love about so called vloggers. They, they look like they're about to walk onto a studio recording. And it's like, really? You didn't make up for a reaction or just to do a news video? Why? <sighs> like, I have studio lighting and all that. I have a green screen and whatnot. But I prefer just to do this good old-fashioned way. But all right, now that I've BSed you enough, all right, here we go. Now, this was when they were putting the thing up. So look at this. Look at this nice big solid wall. Now, this is the actual thing right here. That is where the filming is going on, That that little – walled off part and you'll notice how it's conveniently blocking out any camera angles and this is where this fellow was standing when he was shooting that video and there it is all the way over here so gives you an idea of how much of a zoom lens he had on that bugger and here it is at night and once again this is the closest they could get and over here all the way to the right you can see some of the light coming off and there's the back wall right there so unfortunately, oh, and here's the one good view we've gotten of it so far. It looks like to be almost like, check it out, a little bit rustic thing going on here. You know, and there's like a barge thing going on. So the problem is, like I said, they, they've really, really gone out of their way this series to make damn sure that no spoilers get out. And you know, mainly I think because it's Moffat last series, and they want you to be genuinely surprised. Frankly, I know a lot of you are going, it's Moffat, he should go. He doesn't surprise me anymore because he sucks. <sighs> well, got a new guy to bitch at coming up soon. All right, but let's get back onto the ball. Let's get back to some other things. You know, like I said, unfortunately, you know, I'm getting nothing out of nobody. None of my old sources are talking at all. I'll, there's a ton of conjecture and all that flying around Gallifrey base. I could, I could drop you in armloads of bullshit especially this one that's going around. No disrespect to the person who's saying it. I believe that's their opinion, but they're claiming that uh, Peter Capaldi and his replacement have already been picked. But on the same front, 
We had a guy on here claiming to be a security guard. The problem is I don't know that person from Adam. They were in the comment box saying they knew somebody who worked for gold who apparently talked to Peter Capaldi and he said he's staying for series 11. I cannot take that at face value. I'm sorry. You fed me a bunch of stuff that, you know, basically, you know, you gave me a name. The problem is give me a name. Doesn't tell me anything because he said, go look up somebody named like something such, such on Facebook. And I'm like, there's about 5 billion such and such. You might as well ask me to look for one particular chin in a Chinese phone book. You know, and it's like, I'm sorry, I don't do wild goose chases. I was given enough of that horse shit back during the 50th anniversary year when I was sitting there listening to this guy go on and on claiming he knew what was going on in it. And I dragged him along for about three, four days. Actually, no, it was fellow two weeks, actually. And finally, I hit him with the big question and he couldn't answer it because I already knew the answer. But uh, enough of that. You see, so that's kind of give you an idea of what I'm going through right now as far as what's going on with this series. Nobody is talking. Nobody legitimate is talking. But I have heard from one possible source that he has heard Peter Capaldi staying for Series 11. That Shibnall wants him in for the first year. I hope that's true. Like I said, I don't want to fill people with false hope, though. I want to hear some more sources from other directions. But okay, let's move on. Let's get some other stuff here. Because you've heard that Capaldi's leaving stuff. Probably to the point you want to rip my head off at this point. Or either that or you've just plain got this far into the video and you're like... Well, that happens all the time, too. Oh, by the way, if you're still watching, you know, leave a comment. So you'll hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I don't put up that many videos anymore because there hasn't been that much news or real news to talk about. All right, character options for 2017 Doctor Who products. They're about to unveil a whole new range of new Doctor Who figures and accessories for this year. The new collection will be available from the mid-spring on and is, seen, is to be seen for the first time at the London Toy Fair on Tuesday, actually tomorrow, the, tw uh, on the 24th of January of this year. All right, they, all right here we go. Blah, 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 blah. Like they got 10th Doctor and Tuxedo. Here, let's, let's run through this. You see, if you go to this page, click on this, boom, this comes up. You can just scroll. Like. Now, that's really has that changed all that much really i have that one come on okay so they're offering it without the psychic paper now big hoopty ding dong shit it looks like the same as the old one oh maybe they've done a couple things to it the journal of impossible things okay that looks interesting okay with a ring and oh, looky there. And it's all nice, genuine fake leather. All right. So interesting little keepsake there if you're interested. Oh, yeah, and I've seen this before where you had the one where you can mix and match and make your own sonic screwdrivers and stuff. So that's not anything new. Come on. Impress. Oh, okay, so it's got some new pieces, parts. All right, there we go. Blah, blah, blah. So... If you want to go check all this stuff out, boom, here it is. And now, like, there's the tenth Doctor in a tuxedo, and there's Peter Capaldi in the one jacket. So if you want, you know, and also look, we got play sets. As a matter of fact, this looks like a lot of old stuff. What the hell's going on here? All right. So, oh, okay. So they're redistributing some stuff. Sorry, I sorry, I got a little confused there because I was I was reading through this article really quickly earlier. Oh, I got hushed up. You know, I was trying to get all those videos done. Plus. I, I'm still editing the podcast, and oh boy, this week's podcast is going to be rated R because it's Ash versus Evil Frickin' Dead for crying out loud. German DVD of Unreal, un oh God, German DVD release of an unearthly child. German company Polyband is going to release an unearthly child on DVD, volume one of a new range called The Classic Episodes, and it will be release, released on the 28th of April this year. All right. This one will be identical to the UK version that was part of the beginning box set, adding German subtitles to the features. And since the early serials were had never been broadcast in Germany, there is no German dubbing available for this story. Now, Polyband promotes the release with the following statement, blah, 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 here it's in German and English. So keep your eyes out for this if you're interested and you're in Germany. Otherwise, you already have it if you're around. All right, moving on. Submissions for Time Shadows 2. Pseudoscope Publishing is seeking submissions for the upcoming Time Shadows 2, a short anthology to re you know, relay, you know, sorry, raise money for, 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 for charity. I've heard of four, four times. Is it Rock Me Amadeus? Amadeus, Amadeus, Amadeus. Boom, 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 Amadeus. Oh, sorry. Um, so Time Shadows 2 follows 2016 successful release of Time Shadows, which has already raised nearly $900 for the Enable Community Foundation. The book is edited by Stephen Hatcher, 
with associate editors Matt Grady and John Davies and all that along for the ride. All right, the deadline for outlines for Time Shadows 2 is February 28th. So you only got five days, baby, if you want to get them in there. Guidelines are available here. <laughs> Commission writers will receive a printed contributor's copy of the anthology. All right, moving on. Whoopi Goldberg, I'm dying to be a Doctor Who. Oh, hell no. Okay, don't get me wrong. I love Whoopi Goldberg in a lot of her roles. I'm not going to say, nah, you know, I really can't do that. Because you know, I liked her as going in on you know, Next Generation. Um, I love her movies, to be honest with you. She's done some really great work. So I can't really say eh, all together. I think she could do Doctor Who. I really can't. If you want to read a little bit more about this, boom, it's right here. Moving on, lastly, but certainly not least, we have The Attic, which is going to be uh, this 10th anniversary reunion event for the Sarah Jane Adventures. Because 2017 marks the 10th anniversary of the premiere of that particular, you know, spinoff series. You know, and unlike other spinoffs that have come later, it didn't suck. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope, hope that I say that out loud. Oh, God, my inner monologue was busted. Okay, so 2017, 10 years since Sarah Jane, you know, debuted back on our screens, having come back in school reunion. And by the way, the only classic companion to have come back so far. Are you listening, Stephen Moff? Of course he's not. I ain't that freaking delusional. Actually, you know, I'll be claiming people have, like, been taking my ideas for, you know, comics and shit. But. All right, guests already confirmed. Here they are right here. Boom, boom, boom. Just about the whole gang. Plus, there's a nice little interview right here with Sandy Knight, who's the organizer of the event and mom of Tommy. So if you want to check this out, well, Tommy Knight. So you, you know, you remember that guy played Luke? So not Luke Skywalker, Luke Smith, you know. Well, then again, almost the same thing. I think he had a force thing going there. I don't know. He was he was a pretty cool guy though. So here we go, guests confirmed, blah, 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 the whole nine yards. Also, it's going to take place on the 29th of July this year. Tickets are available now, 30 pounds adult, 15 pounds for children. All the info you need for it is right here in this article over on Blogger. All right. And, of course, remember, as usual, all articles will be linked below in the description box in case you want to go jump on in and go check out some of this stuff. So once again, I'm sorry I had to get a little political, but I'm getting sick and tired of people being, you know, just playing crazy on Facebook since for the last couple of days since the inauguration. I got some bad news for you. It's been a couple of days. We haven't exploded. You know, nuclear missiles haven't been launched yet. And I just kind of stress yet. You know, sure, I was not crazy about our choice for president, but you know what? You're I'm sorry. The most constructive thing you can do right now. And I love somebody who was running around earlier going, well, they're breaking stuff. They're being, they're just like the guys in the Boston Tea Party. The Boston Tea Party guys poured a bunch of freaking tea into the water. They didn't go around bashing people's shop windows. They didn't go running around blocking traffic. I'm sorry, but if you're dumb enough to get in front of a two-ton automobile, <laughs> more power to you. But once again, the best thing you can do instead of sitting on your ass crying get off your ass get motivated and make damn sure hey i'll make sure this guy only does four years and that's all you can do right now make sure he's a one-term president that's what they did with bush joe you know, senior oh well enough of that horseshit well folks until next time everybody take care ta-ta enjoy the rest of your day and see you on the flip side all right <laughs>